Dear HTC, here's how to fix HTC Sense. Hey guys, I'm Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video, I'm going to talk about HTC Sense and why it's loved and hated so much, and more importantly, how HTC can fix it. HTC really wants you to love Sense because when you go to buy your next smartphone, you're not going to be able to buy a Motorola with Sense or an LG with Sense. You're only going to be able to buy an HTC device with that Sense experience. They want it to be a household brand that people request at the cell phone stores. They want to make it that good. The problem with HTC Sense all along, from back in the days of the HTC HD2, and even before that when it was called TouchFlow on the Windows Mobile HTC Touch Diamond and the Touch Pro 2 and the Touch Pro and all of those legacy phones, is that it was way too heavy. It was very focused on being pretty, which in a day when Windows Mobile was ugly made a lot of sense. But today, Android has gotten so much better. Ice Cream Sandwich has a beautiful interface that's fast, fluid, and really pleasing on the eye that really doesn't need much dress up and modification. But HTC, HTC still wants to do sense. They still want to make it a selling point. But again, they kind of miss the mark. The HTC One X, One S, and One V all have the latest versions of Sense, version 4.0. It brings a lot of improvements, but it still misses the mark in a lot of ways. Let's take a look at how. So here we have stock ice cream sandwich on a Samsung Galaxy Nexus. It has the experience that Google intended. It's fast, it's fluid, it's efficient, it's beautiful, and it really just works very well to maximize screen space, to feel fast, to have a consistent look and feel. It even has its own font, the Roboto font, uh, which is part of Android ice cream sandwich. Now let's bring in the HTC One X. And by the way, check out our review on that. We'll put a link up at the top, which really changes everything. It's got a lot of eye candy, to be honest. So we're going to unlock the screen. Here we've got a lock screen that uh, you can drag various items into the ring and get right to a program. And let's take something like folders, for example. So we've got folders on Ice Cream Sandwich without an inter interface. Then we've got Sense 4.0. See the difference? I'll open them at the same time. Which one's faster? Stock Ice Cream Sandwich is faster, and it's a lot less fluffy. Here in Sense 4.0, we've got all this extra padding around these items, and we've got this big add button. Over here in Stock Ice Cream Sandwich, it's just so efficient. We have nothing but the icons inside of the folder. We don't have a big plus button because it doesn't really make sense to have to go through and check off different apps that you want in a folder. People don't use folders like that. They just drag items into a folder, and that's that. Uh, so that's one area where I think HTC has really messed up Ice Cream Sandwich, the folder experience. A second place HTC really needs to, to focus on here is settings. So if we go into settings on both of these devices, look at the difference between these two. The one on the right has a lot more eye candy, and to be honest, it kind of looks like it was designed for a kindergartner. It has lots of colors, lots of textures, fun animations, but on Android 4.0 stock, it's fast, fluid, and efficient. When you get to the end of a list, you get this gentle blue animation, whereas here in Sense 4.0, you've got this effect that just seems to unnecessarily toll the processor. Why do you need this accordion effect when Ice Cream Sandwich just does a very subtle job here at, at fading this beautiful uh, little blue line up there? So that's another example where HTC Sense 4.0 just has too much fluff. Another great example is the multitask UI. So we're going to bring them up at the same time. And they're about the same speed, but check out the difference. In Sense 4.0, you get this very kind of pretty fluffy interface where you flip through these cards. But by default here, you can only see one, two apps open. In Ice Cream Sandwich, which has a great interface for multitasking, we get to see one, two, three, four open apps at one time. It's much more efficient. It works. Why did HTC have to take away something that already worked very well? You know, it used to be that in earlier versions of Android, we could say Android 2.3 and below, the interface wasn't good enough, so HTC had to do something to spruce it up. But Ice Cream Sandwich is fast. It's beautiful. Let's look at the program tray, and let's actually see which one opens faster. So about the same speed, they both have animations. Here in HTC Sense, we get these tabs along the bottom. Some people might find them useful, but to be honest, I think this works much better because you get to see more apps on the screen at one time, and it's just all in one place. Uh, so we can go to Edit Tabs, actually, 
and remove some of these. Can't remove that one. Can remove that one. And what that will actually do is take away the tabs, but that's not immediately obvious. And some people are going to be stuck with those tabs along the bottom. And you can actually see there's still a placeholder for the tabs. It hasn't disappeared completely. Wish HTC had stuck with the default application tray uh, in Ice Cream Sandwich. Another place where HTC has come in and, and done things to make it heavier and fluffier with more eye candy is adding widgets to the home screen. Uh, so in Ice Cream Sandwich stock, we go over here to widgets, we take something we like and we drag and we drop it to a home screen. Boom. No more room on this home screen. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we can go over to here. Let's go over here and drop it there. And Sense 4.0, wow, look what they've done. Some people might like this, but some people might find it way too much in terms of the visual intensity. So we can scroll through all these widgets. We can press tons of buttons and, and navigate around and you know slide things and turn things and twist things and all day long. And then you can add items to your home screen. But it's a lot less efficient than what Google do has done in Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich by default. So the problem with Sense 4.0 is that it's still too heavy. It's still too fluffy. And Android Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0, the stock interface is gorgeous and it's beautiful. That said, HTC has actually done some good things in Sense. And, and allow me to show you some of those. Uh, one of the places that HTC has done a killer job uh, evolving much beyond what stock Android does is the email client. So the email application is one place where Sense really shines, where HTC has really added value by making a part of the operating system that you use a lot really pretty, really functional. So here we are in email. Uh, and as you can see, there are these beautiful checkboxes. You can easily action on items, uh, text menus without archaic icons. If we bring in ice cream sandwich and we try to do the same thing, we get these icons that aren't exactly clear on what they do. Another great feature of Sense 4.0 email is that you can actually look at threaded messages in kind of a 3D way. So we have a down arrow here. We can expose all of the content there and just have a really visual idea of what kind of threaded messages that you have. Now let's make a new message here. So we're going to press compose and compose. And we'll compare the two different screens. And we run into a place here where Sense 4.0 is again too much. So here in Ice Cream Sandwich, we've got this keyboard. It's small. It lets you see a lot of content on the screen at one time. In Sense 4.0, HTC has added these directional arrows along the bottom. Again, too much so that we have less content up here. Kind of frustrating. Uh, something that is, some people might find valuable if you're moving around a list, but you can't turn it off. It's just too fluffy. But overall, the email experience between Stock Ice Cream Sandwich and Sense 4.0 is definitely improved and it, it looks much better. So for most people, HTC Sense 4.0 is a good thing. It's pretty, it's functional, it adds a lot to the operating system. For power users, they just want things to be fast, efficient, and streamlined. And HTC Sense is none of that, even if in, in its latest iteration, that seems to add fluff in places that don't need fluff. So HTC, if you want to fix HTC Sense, make it less fluffy, like make it less intrusive. Allow what Google has done to shine through some more. Don't mess with folders so that they become these animated, padded things that are just inefficient uses of space. Use what Ice Cream Sandwich has done well and fix what Ice Cream Sandwich doesn't do that well uh, to really enhance upon the features of the phone. Let us know what you think about HTC Sense and how HTC can make Sense better. Please leave a comment and please thumbs up the video if you liked it. Thanks for watching. That's it for now.